Hello, and welcome again to the second episode of Kerbal Space Program Let's Play Triple Jump Gaming, no proper name, whatever. Here's my uh, itinerary for this episode. I'm going to be sending the first Kerbal to the moon's surface. Now, a lot of what I've been doing between the first video and this one is just grinding out surveying missions, flying from point A to point B, taking a crew report and getting money and science so I can get to this point where hopefully it'll be interesting again. Now, I just barely got here. As you can see up here, I don't have a whole lot of money. I'm close to being able to afford one of these tier four sciences, of which I only have one. Uh, I got the fuel duct and a bigger fuel tank, but mostly the fuel duct so that I could asparagus stage with my rocket. That's sending fuel from the outer rockets into the inner rockets so that you get more efficiency. I wouldn't mind, honestly, having any of these. All of these would help me. Uh, I would love to have, say, these landing struts would be terrific for me because they could actually hold the weight of the lander I built. I'm using, where are they, dinky ass little, yeah, even in the description it says something about toothpicks. So that's what I have equipped. I would love to have, where are they? biggest thing. I really, really wish I had a docking port, because that would let me do it in multiple launches. But no, I have to do it in a single launch. I have to do it with the small rockets, because I don't have either of these. That solid fuel booster would be pretty handy too. Just trying to build up a little suspense for what I'm going to have to pull this off with. But, but let's see the ship. What is it? Not the autosave ship. This one. Now. I almost consider this amount of asparagus staging to be cheating, but you know what? I'm working with very little here and look at this thing. It is an atrocity. Look at those landing legs. See, to get it to work at all, I had to get these stick legs past the engine nozzle, because as far down as you can put them regular, they don't actually clear it, so I'd be landing on my engine one way or another, which may still happen. I half expect these to break. We'll see. Because I'm not going to fuck around in here for very long. We're going to get a crew member. And, you know, I have spread the experience around. Rosie Kerman. You may notice that uh, Valencia and Jebediah are missing from the roll. Well, let's say that a lot of those survey missions were eventful, but not entertaining. I killed them. Just like I'm going to kill this one, I think. So, let's do a final staging check to make sure everything happens in the correct order. Those fire at the same time as all the other ones. Good. Those separate first, then those, and then the inner ones go there, that fires, that separates, that fires, that separates, those deploy. Nothing left now, by the way. I don't have money for two of these, so if this doesn't work, then it's the end of the video and I go back to grinding. Intensity.
No stabilizers needed. This thing is a tripod. Oh, man. I am not sure about the shape of this thing being very aerodynamic. The tolerance for Delta V that I have for this mission is not super a lot. I want to crash this stage into the moon while this one circularizes an orbit. That's the plan, at least. <clears throat> This single stage is going to descend, land, come back up, and return to Kerbin, all on that one fuel tank. All right, enough dilly dallying. Let's get this thing launched. was a lot more efficient than I was expecting. Wow. Well, let's see what the uh, second burn does. I'm expecting to just have this at the end of this. All of this is going to get disposed of in the atmosphere. If I have extra... Man, I don't know what I'm going to do. I really don't like leaving debris in space. That's no reason not to. Never going to run into it again. The chances are astronomical, but I just don't like having them up there. Feels cheaty deleting them. It sullies up the uh, screen in your tracking station. Burn in about nine, eight, seven. Oh, shit. Ooh, did you see it recoil under the force? That is a lot of engine for this maneuver. Okay, so that stage. That looks cool. Looks like a science fiction uh, rocket ship. So, one of my worries was that the legs of the rover would get sheared off on takeoff. That was not a problem. I 
don't need this extra fuel. Get as much out of it as I can. Alright, that's enough of a pain in the ass to wait for. And we have orbit. Nice. Very nice. Completely full tank of gas. Damn, if I knew it was going to go that well, I wouldn't have put this big engine on the back of it. I would have put another one of these little ones on. Shit. So far, so good. Let's see if I can get a nice, perfect equatorial orbit. This will make sure that I hit it dead on, match the orbital plane. And I have the maneuver node here, so I will point my, no my noise at it, my nose. minutes, so I'll speed the clock up. Cool. Yeah, I do not have uh, lights unlocked yet. That's another thing that would help me on this, is being able to see where I'm landing if it happens in the shadow, or the dark. I will try not to land on the dark side of the moon. Coming up on my new... new maneuver node. Man -man oh boy. Recording live was a bad idea. to be made. Earlier I was doing orbits and slingshots around this thing without uh, the tracking center upgraded, so you just kind of have to take it on blind faith that you're going in the right direction, and that never went wrong, so almost too easy with all of this bells and whistles I'm using now. Took it for granted many versions ago. Warp here, wow. Should try that. All right, so those two arrows are pointing where my ship is gonna be and where the moon is gonna be when they're closest. like just fantastic I want that first stage to crash into the moon so oh. let's go try the time warp for the first time
Nice. One of the most frustrating things in this game was time warping yourself to some event that you needed to be there for and just barely passing over it. Especially in uh, this career mode that I've been doing because there are no take back seats or save games as I immediately wish I said in the first place. So I'm going to align myself with my maneuver node. It's what's called a moonshot. It's not what I call it, it's what they call it. As soon as the moon comes from over the horizon, you gun it, and that will line up to, for a intercept. It's, I've been doing it up until now. I don't want to play the Alright, the estimated burn is about a minute and three, so half of it's going to be before, half of it's going to be after, and I'm going to start my burn right about now. no time warping while you are in the middle of a burn. In case any of you were wondering. Give you some eye candy for 20-ish seconds. it off here. I have another idea for this second, this uh, transfer stage I'll call it. Use that for the descent and just maybe get to watch it explode. That'd be fun. Marginally dangerous. So I'm going to be going behind it, it's going to catch me, it's going to suck me in, and I'm going to be going like this. So. Not the best policy. It's gotten me into trouble before, but since this is a single launch, might spare me some uh, Delta V on the way back. Get rid of my maneuver node. Skip ahead. Alright, this is not a prototype per se. I'm a hack, what can I say? Take a look at the approaching. Yep. Whoa. 
So, I think we just, yep, switched into the moon's zone of control, or area of influence. Whatever you call it when the greatest gravitational force is coming from that, not the big planet over there. So, I will skip ahead to the periapsis, and that's where we will burn to even ourselves out, right on the equator. Six minutes. Might as well set a maneuver. Do I have enough in the tank for that? Yes, I do. Wow. Do I have enough in the tank for... Wow, okay. I won't feel as bad as leaving for leaving uh, debris up here. But let me see if I can even... 18 seconds of... Per I've got 36 seconds. I could even... Circularize at 30k, which is what I want to do. Good enough. Put myself in the right direction here. Keep an eye on my electric charge. I don't have solar panels unlocked either. five minutes of this press of the button. Let's try to put on a show for people. those landing legs. Just looking at them right now. Okay. So far, so good. Oh no, oh no. Holy Christ. That's scary shit. Why aren't you... Why am I not using the automatic shit? Oh, it's so good. It's such a good thing. Oh, and 
it even continued rotating the craft. Do a little adjustment here. Minute 30 left. Okay, next thing is the landing. No quick saves. Taking something that's moving at Mach 2.25, and I'm gonna make it go zero without breaking anything. Yep, I still have fuel for the descent. Take a look at what our... Oh no, do not... Oh, actually... Last thing I want to do is come down in the dark. good. Honestly, that doesn't look half bad, just from the shitty render I get from up here, outside that dune, uh, crater. Craters have dunes all around the side. Half points for that. Half point deduction. <laughs> I cannot believe how fuel efficient this trip has been. I have a tendency to over engineer, but this is far and away excess. Probably could have gotten away with a much cheaper ship. Well, See if I have to buy another one of these first before I get all excited. Look at that big round thing coming up to greet me. It looks friendly. What'll I call it? It's big. It's round. It's gray. Gray round. Ground. Yes, that's it. I'll call it the ground. 476 meters per second and climbing. As I go to meet my new friend. Aside from the craters themselves, the inside of this giant crater is pretty smooth looking, so... All hope is that I get to land on something flat. All those survey missions I did below 7,000 meters for those survey contracts I didn't really spend much time staring at the face of the moon. stage. That is not going to survive impact. Oh. 
Oh, jeez, I am not slowing down that fast. It's turning into a real suicide burn. Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh, that's where that happened. Maybe I'll do this. For a little bit. Oh, fuck. Damn it. Well, that's our show, folks. I didn't thrust limit the bottom engine, did I? That was really weak. me.